Good morning, this is Dennis Gerard, Director of the Marian Devotional Movement. And I just wanna thank you for your participation in Canada 54. Yesterday's launch was really off the charts. It was amazing on many, many levels, but certainly as with anything, there were a couple of glitches. So I'm just hoping that this short little tutorial may help you as you spread the word and just to make sure you can navigate and know where things are. So when you go to the Canada 54 launch page, which is this landing page where you see the actual poster, you'll notice at the top, you know, there's prayers right here and both in English and French. So you can always click on that and it gets you right to either the English prayers or the French prayers so that they can be downloaded. So those are always very quickly available on the Canada54.com page. Now, as we scroll down, I've made a few little tweaks because we have launched. The same videos are all there. So you can, if you're sharing this so that you can get people interested, it would be great for them to obviously watch those videos from Bishop Tremblay. Notice now we've amended the wording, join in any time during the 54 days, begin praying today and register below to receive next virtual launch invite. So that's really important. You'll see that the counter has been adjusted for the next uh, launch date, which is St. Kateri Tekakwitha on May 7th. If you've already registered, you will receive that invite. Now, many people, unfortunately, the last emails went into their spam folder, and we believe the reason is because we just had to upgrade the plan. It was just so, so much response. So we've got now a note down here, which you will see emails will be sent by the Marian Devotional Movement. If you do not receive at least one weekly email, please check your spam folder for emails from the Marian Devotional Movement. Make sure to whitelist the Marian Devotional Movement to make sure you receive virtual launch invites. And then for those of you who aren't sure what whitelisting is, it's a way of approving the sender to make sure you receive emails in your inbox and not your spam folder. So you can just Google how to whitelist emails, you know, for either Gmail or Hotmail or whatever your provider is. And then as you see, we scroll down and here again are the English prayers, the French prayers, of course, those of us that are hosting. This is an amazing video by Bishop Scott McKegg that really explains the history of Our Lady of the Cape. We're really hoping that Canada is gonna wake up to the fact that we have a national Madonna. Her name is Our Lady of the Cape. And not only is she a, a national Madonna, really she's a worldwide Madonna. Why? Because she's queen of the most holy rosary. And her story is arguably the greatest rosary confraternity story ever told. It goes back to the 1600s and it traces the launch of the faith in the new world, which obviously includes Canada and the United States of America. We have many, many, many people from the United States that follow the Marian Devotion Movement. So really encourage you to have people watch that particular video. As we scroll down, you can see that there's also a video from Father Roger Vandenacker encouraging people to uh, join in. And then this is the theme song. It's called Queen of Peace, penned by Father Tim Devine and his brother Matt, actually in the earlier 2000s. But it's just a perfect song for this 54-day novena. So I'm going to scroll back to the top. And I'm hoping this gives you an idea of how to uh, use this launch page for yourself and to share with others to, to answer their questions. You can always contact us at any time that brings you right to the Marian devotional uh, page and you can call us. We had some calls, some emails, just asking some general questions. So the next thing I want to address is when you get a launch invite, Actually, prior to that, when you register and you click on this button, it will bring you to the launch novena that we're currently in. Now, at this point, you'll see that we've tweaked all of the St. Louis de Montfort to reflect that we are post what happened yesterday. Here's one thing where people are getting confused. They're seeing, oh, join Mary, Mary's Worldwide Prayer Movement, Rosary Confraternity, click here. 
This is the Rosary Confraternity, not to be confused with the 54-day Novena. So in other words, you want to enroll in the Rosary Confraternity. When you click there, it takes you to rosarybridge.com, and you can enroll in either English or French or Spanish, but that indeed is separate from the Canada 54 Novena that we are in the midst of. Now, when you go to the launch page, you'll see, as I just mentioned, that we're post the launch from yesterday. So now all everything that happened yesterday is now here. So the prayers again in English and French. For those of you who want a second opportunity to join virtually, you just click on this link, optional virtual rosary confraternity. You can click right here and register and join us Sundays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Father Roger leads us through the rosary and we have the John Paul II Center leading us through the Divine Mercy Chaplet. If you want to watch the Mass from yesterday with Father Roger, it is here. And then the both the English-French launches are also available through here. The press release that Father Anthony Ho wrote is here. This beautiful checklist, by the way, that Father Hazuk has put together is here. You just click on that, and this is something you can print. It goes on legal, and you can put check marks. So that's something that's just been added on, which is really neat for those of you who like this sort of thing. Or otherwise, you can recite the prayers every day by coming back to this Montfort page. They're all here. Again, there's always a reminder to enroll in the Rosary Confraternity, which is separate from the Canada 54 program. By the way, we still have, well, only less than 10 Cape prayer shawls for those of you who are interested in becoming Marian Devotional Movement Pilgrim Partners. These are shawls that have actually touched the miraculous statue of Our Lady of the Cape and the tombs of Father Luc de Sele and of Father Paul Vachon, blessed again by Bishop Tremblay after that. This is a great link. If you haven't listened to the 1904 crowning of Our Lady of the Cape as Queen of Canada, I can highly, highly recommend that you do that. And again, at the bottom of the page are the ways to download different prayer cards or enroll in the confraternity of the most holy rosary this by the way is the double cd set with the whole story eight chapters which traces the story of our lady of the cape so hopefully this gives you a very good overview on how to engage in canada 54 national novena as well as being able to share it with your friends We've had so far, wow, we had over 4,000 people visit the website yesterday. It's just incredible. It shows you that there are a lot of people that are desiring to join in prayer. So glory to God as we keep going forward. If you have any other questions, just call me at 888 1083 God bless you, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next launch. Bye for now.